Um, we will follow this some more. Let's talk FSE version 14. I think that's a, a good segue to that. We are expecting FSE version 14 to drop. You know, some people think it's going to happen this week because Elon said so last week. Others are saying, yeah, it's going to happen in two weeks or so forth. Uh, I think most of us do agree, right, that we think that maybe a couple people will get it, like, you know, AI Driver, Chuck Cook, maybe Omar, somebody like that, like a few. By the way, do you guys think that uh, these robo-taxis, I'll, I'll play, a, a, a you know, Sawyer's clip here of him driving, using the robo-taxi app in Austin, and I asked him, is this version 14? And I mean, his answer to just in general to everyone was it felt very similar to June and maybe a bit smoother, but nothing obvious to him. Would they be, you know, would they be testing FSE version 14 now? There are two kind of uh, debates on this. Some people say yes, that they would be testing it now especially if you've got in California where you have Ride Hill, there's somebody in the driver's seat. And others say, no, I think you will test this first with us. We would test it first before they would then introduce it into, you know, the Austin, which I don't, I can't, I can't believe that because Austin was always six months ahead. There are two different release lines currently. And at some point they could merge. And I'm sure there could be elements of, of that in robo taxis. Now it's a controlled, it's actually a somewhat of a controlled environment on on in one way uh so yeah i don't know it's just it could it could go either way just they're just two release lines at some point they could they could converge or or maybe they stay separate but i think there's a lot of value in that they do most things very similarly to to converge these these release lines sooner than later yeah i agree with you that was about what, what i was going to say i don't think they're completely the same at the moment because obviously running a robo taxi is a different type of software. Remember when we had that person who got the delivery at his home and then they updated it because that was on a higher version of FSD and then he got back graded or downgraded to what we all have currently. Um, the, the second thing is um, you said some people believe it will be first to early adopters. That's not some people say. That's Elon who said it. Elon said we'll first go out to some early adapters, and early then adopt. two, three weeks later, it will be more generalized. So, so I, I think in terms of you know expectations of the timeline, we'll probably see in a couple of days these early adapters get it the, once they finish the last testing. And I think Jeff has warned us all often enough, and he's completely right. This is a new set. This is version fourteen, so it may not be straight away that it feels like an upgrade of the current thirteen, right? Because the thirteen has come so far. Mm -hmm. and they seem to want to give it a new number. So there must be something new about it. And so it may initially feel a little bit choppy until it gets rolled out. And so that could be a week, that could be two weeks, or it could even be a month. I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm always puzzled when I go into these cyberball beatings because Herbert is so after dates and numbers, yeah. and then he can nail us down how wrong we are. No, and no. so I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to give less and less of those. Yeah, no, no, not, not that. I'm, I, my goal is to ask the questions that I hear everyone is asking, general Tesla investors. So that's what I think they're interested in. But you're right, that's a good answer that, you know, it doesn't matter which month and so forth. But uh, because we're different kinds of investors, right? We are long-term investors. And so for us, as long as we see the signals and it's moving fine, you know, it'd be nice if it came out sooner. But it's not that big of a deal versus others who are like timing it. Uh, I'm, I've got an option that's so got to, you know, mature by within a month or two. And then that's why they're really afraid, right? Um, okay, so that's 14. What, what you're thinking, uh, Matt, on the FSC version 14? You, you, you started saying something about that just about uh, earlier in your intro. Oh, well, I, I was just going to say, Alexandra, I think, just doesn't want accountability with, with her predictions. And so that's why she's, you know, putting up all these defenses. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, not, yeah, you, you're just shaming me with the, the dignified, uh, not, not even a response. Um, yeah, so I, I do think it's going to be pretty noticeable. I mean, I think when we all had version 13 for the first time, it was an immediate like, oh, like this is this is something different. Um, that's my expectation with version 14. I mean, they've been working on this for so long. Um, you know, it was going to be a 2x parameter increase, then 3, now 10. Um, all the stuff that they've been working on for a long time. 
Um, I, I do agree that it won't be perfect, but I would be very surprised if we are not able to actually notice a difference, um, you know, on our on our initial rides. Um, so, you know, that said, in, in terms of timing, um, you know, I, I'm trying to also get a little bit less um, like stressed out about like, oh, is it coming this weekend? And like checking my app for updates. I used to get a little, you know, crazy with doing that. But I, I'm just kind of of the mindset now that if I get it before month end, I'll be happy. Um, and I think that probably will happen. So um, I, my best, best guess would be, you know, in a couple of weeks, us, us regular uh, owners will get it. And I do agree that it'll probably be, a, you know, just kind of like the OG beta testers sort of that, that would be that initial group. Yeah. Okay. Rapid response field operators being hired. It's a good signal. It means that there, you know, there, there's been no necessarily a delay. We don't know when things will happen, but at least we, it's, it's another way to think about it that says, okay, you know, they wouldn't be hiring these people if there was going to be like a year off or something like that. So things are seem to be moving forward. Uh, any other comments about robo taxi expansion? Um, some of us are are now noticing that maybe every two weeks there might be an expansion. Uh, you know, Dallas, we saw them cars already testing out Dallas. And so you can easily just I don't know, not easily, but, you know, the next thing could be an announcement that Austin Geofence has expanded again uh, and then maybe Phoenix, another area, uh, prior to the annual shareholder meeting. Uh, Alexandra, do you think that there is a value for Tesla to show real progress and like try to, you know, excite the investors prior to the annual shareholder meeting? Does that help with more sure. votes? Sure. I mean, first thing I want to clarify is people, there's still a couple of people out there who, who think, oh my God, the stock is going up. And Elon's stock price is going to be locked in at the shareholder meeting. That's completely wrong. Elon's stock price for the options for the coming 10 years, we'll see how long it takes, is 334.09, which was locked in beginning of September. Okay, so that there's no reason for anybody to, you know, feel there is a game on the stock because of Elon's option base price. So that I want to put that out of the the story. The second thing is, I do believe they feel that they want to give us maximum pleasure when we come to, if we come, when we come <laughs> to, to, uh, to Austin, right? Mm -hmm. and, and taking, calling a robot taxi, maybe even at the airport, mm. uh, in town, driving to the Tesla shareholder meeting, I think it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, via robo taxi. I mean, all that would be would be crazy. And I was actually thinking about that, Jeff, because you've been with me in the car last year. When we, when you drive there, I remember there was this huge traffic jam when you get close to. So how would you know if they're all robo taxis? We're all sitting in our robo taxis, and they all have to queue to get through security. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, let's have a drop off or something occurring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they they hopefully have mapped that just like they would in a, an airport. Uh, but that brings up the point. Our friend Tessa Yoda said that when re rapid response field operators are hired now, it's very, it could be that by November 8th to November 6th, the actual shareholder meeting, they want to have driverless robo taxis available. Imagine when we do a live stream, just like we did the first time in June, we go there and we do a live stream of a driverless robo taxi driving to the shareholder meeting. I mean, it would be fabulous, right? Yeah. It would be well, there's fabulous. That, there's would, that theory. It would yeah. show that that is, you know, the future is happening already. Yeah. Uh, so my question to you was, if they did that, like if they accomplished this, a driverless robot taxi just prior to November 6th, does that increase the chance of success in these uh, proposals being voted on? Oh, no. I think we're, I mean, I'm prudently optimistic that we're actually already there. I have said this now multiple times, but I want to state this again. This year is much easier than all prior years because we're in, in Texas and Elon can vote. So every question already has 14.5% in the right direction, thanks to Elon. Okay. Then retail, I did another poll this morning, and I know this is just my followers who may be more motivated than anybody else because you have to be motivated to follow me. That's true. That's true, Herbert. You got a point there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, 70 to 75 percent of people seem to have voted with all their accounts right even people overseas and yes we're still seeing issues overseas but let's just say this is really indicative of of retail i think we can say about 25 percent of all shares are now voted plus the 14 and a half from elon so we're close to 40 percent okay 
I don't know, I don't know how they all voted, but it sounds at the moment there there's not much opposition. And then we know already that ARC and Baron funds are going to be pro Elon, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we're very, very, very close already to these 50% plus one vote that we need. We don't need gimmicks on November the 6th to get us over the line. And okay. anyway, institutionals will vote on November the 5th. So they won't see our videos in the robot taxis. Institutions vote on the last day because they feel it's their duty to wait until the last moment and have seen everything and heard everything. And uh, so, so we will not, Tesla who can monitor the votes on a minute by minute basis, they know exactly where they stand. You know, these proxy vote websites and all that, they sell their services very expensively to these corporations to keep them informed. So um, there are two things I, I see. First of all, Elon is not posting a lot about voting. Last year at the same moment in time, was he? he was every day on it. Mm -hmm. and, and there were lots of, there were lots of, um, SEC filings because he was so involved. There's still some SEC filings and he got involved into a couple that, you know, don't allow voting yet, whatever, but it's it's on the margin. He's much more involved in politics and Tesla overall and, and whatever. So I don't think, you know, I think Elon's behavior is a good indicator how confident he is that these votes go through. And, uh, and the second thing is that Tesla itself made so much effort. I mean, they're advertising on all social media and they're and, and they're available for mostly all the press if they want interviews and whatever. They have done so early so much effort that I think there are only few retail investors out there who don't know that they need to vote and, and are going for it. Mm. Great analysis. Good insights. Okay.